I was contacted by Obspot. You can see here they are a camera company. They have all kinds of stuff. It's pretty high-end stuff. This isn't some cheapo, no-name, whatever type products. This is high-end stuff. This here is a 4K Meet 2 cam. There it is, Meet 2 cam. This is actually going to be a very useful product for me because I would like to do a little bit more live streaming and I'd like to have a really nice camera to also have an auxiliary recording device too. So this thing is actually sweet. It came at a really nice time. Mini in size, mighty in sight. Look how cute it is. What? It's tiny. It is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Very cool. There's this little guy here, the little standy boy. Uh, rubber, oh, so it can, you can hook it on your monitor up top. Everything is so perfectly packaged. There's no overpackaging here. It's so clean and cute. What do we have here? Okay, so this is obviously magnetized and that's magnetized on the bottom. It's not magnetic in other areas, which is interesting. So it must have a little plate in there. Well, I mean, it has that thing. So that gives it its magnetic purpose. Very cute. Uh, is that upside down though? I guess you just put it on your monitor like that, right? And then you can do what you want with it. I have a number of these things just like around, obviously. This is kind of a really old one. I haven't used it in a super long time, but this will be useful for me for doing uh, streaming because for me, I don't necessarily, my, my monitor is very high. It's fine for recording actually when I'm looking down at, pro looking down at products, it's gonna be useful. However, a lot of the time for me, I'm actually going to be um, using this as a streaming cam. So you can just plug this in like that, it's so tiny. Look how cute that is, it's just, it's obscene. It looks obscene even on this relatively small little thing. Okay, so we're plugged into my desktop, which is gonna be primarily where I use this thing. Hey, you can see me right there, automatically. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at here, so what do we have, framing grid? I guess you can do that kind of stuff here, but I wanted to show off this here. You can see 4K right away. It's just detecting 4K right off the bat. Very good, time lapse. I guess you could lower it if you wanted. I don't want to. I want to be able to record in 4K. Uh, video call, that's for photos. Uh, video quality here, we're gonna go with that up to 4K. 4K 30, 1080p 60. Uh, for face cam, we can do 4K 30, it'll be no problem. Flicker reduction, sure. Very good, very good. So let's just do a quick record here um, with this thing in baseline, I guess. And then what we're going to do, is, I don't know why I close that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play around with the built-in app, uh, the app that they actually tell us to use. Okay, so we got goodies here on the camera. Can I do this while the camera is running? So that's good. So we have medium, we have wide. Okay, so that's wide, which is good. Um, medium, which is medium. Narrow, which is actually useful for me because I'm gonna be using this a lot of the time for like a nice meeting cam slash uh, face cam. Be very good, is that a zoom? Yeah, it is, you can zoom like right in on my chin. You can zoom in on me. Look at me. I didn't do a full shape today. Zoom back out there, very good. Okay, what's course do? Fine. Oh, the amount of zoom, that's fine. Okay, so that's that there. I don't know what these do. I guess I don't have multiple cameras. So if I did, then I could go camera one, two, three, four. I Maybe I will get more. Autofocus, I, yeah, you'd want to probably leave that on most of the time. I guess you could, right, do something like that. Honestly, it looks to be doing a good job, to be honest. Auto exposure, yeah. I saw, I mean, you could, oh, you could crank it. it the, the default seems to be pretty good. Sharpness. Saturation, I can get myself angry. Like Red Hulk or whatever. Is that the thing that people are talking about? I can make my skin look weird. I can soften myself. I can make myself green and sick or purple. Very cool. Um, auto global, I guess that's the whole thing, but I'm gonna keep it on face, focus on face. Uh, over here we have, you know, the gimbal stuff, which I, oh, wait, what? How does that work? It doesn't have a freaking, it doesn't have a, oh, I guess because I'm not zoomed in. So if you're zoomed out all the way, there's nothing it can do, right? But you can zoom in, you can go medium, for example. I could go in one further if I'm doing face cam type thing. And I could say, you know, that's a little bit too low, um, you know, a little bit too high, go like that. Fix that during the face cam is actually really useful because otherwise I have to sit in the middle of the frame all the time, right? Be like there. But sometimes I may go off to the side or something. So that's really useful actually. Uh, we can zoom in on my face. 
and my mouth. And you can see whether I shaved today, which I did not, using the gimbal. Photo, video. Uh, let's go auto framing. Close up. <laughs> cool. Upper body. It's going to zoom out probably. Well, probably it's confused by my phone. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It actually does work very well. So you get close up. So normally, you know, if you're doing, uh, I guess if you're doing live streaming, right? Um, this box is not going to show up, but you, know, you like that there. And then if you're doing live streaming, you can have it like follow you around to some degree. Right. Now, what if I move up, move back? It's pretty cool. I can't go back much farther. Find me. Yeah, so it works. Like it's gonna. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So it's gonna figure it out. It has some type of AI. It's just tracking my face basically, and just go out. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's auto framing, which is actually very useful uh, for me because when I'm streaming, where are you? There you are. When I'm streaming, I move around a lot. I'm like. Now, I don't stream a lot, but I'm going to start doing more streaming, and I do move a lot, so it's going to be actually pretty cool for that, especially if I'm doing, like, uh, gaming, because I will move around while I'm gaming, get more comfortable, especially if it's a long stream, or if I'm, you know, doing a laptop build or something like that, uh, laptop testing video, I'll be moving around a lot. And you can see nature. So off, which is pretty accurate, to be honest. Nature, fresh. Ooh, I like fresh. I look fresh. Clean, like I just took a shower. Crystal. Soda, BNB and black and white. Pure, I'm not pure. Filter, film. So that's cool. And you can strengthen it as well. So that's very cool. Retouch, uh, native. Ooh, look how pretty, look how youthful I am. Like a young babe. Smooth, make me just, make me young. Make me look youthful. Man, what happens if I, do I just become more man? just aggressively burn. Yeah, so you have all these functions here for photos as well. Very cool, right? I have it set up so that it's, I kind of messed it up because I did rotation. Oh, I disconnected it. Ah, that was my fault. So if you go like that there, right? No, I disconnected. I reconnected, I mean. So we're gonna go like this here, connect. Okay, it's fine, it's back again. Uh, let's bring up the camera again. There we are. So you can see now it's proper, it's in portrait mode. Very good, very, very good. Uh, move that over there. And then, you know, you can rotate it. Um, so what I did is I rotated the camera, so it's in portrait mode, which is important. And then you can flip that if need be, or you can go, you know, landscape. All right now it's landscape. Now what I'd want to do is go like, and then flip the camera uh, that way. Yeah. So it works just fine. Actually, for me, probably, I would actually do portrait, because when I'm doing uh, live stream for what I do, uh, typically, I need that whole area I don't want it to come across, but it's fine if it's down the side. So for me, probably what I would do is I would actually move the camera like that there. I would turn it, and then I would put it back into portrait. And then I would, for example, like have me, that's kind of messed up, but I would have me on the right side of my stream over here. <laughs> that's reversed over here. And then uh, I would be on the thing. And so that's actually kind of cool. So that's cool. So that looks good. This is really useful software. It's very lightweight. Uh, it seems to be, it's just working. Okay, and here's a video example of the webcam using the built-in mic as well right in front of me. Uh, spoiler alert, this is in the future, probably about a week, week and a half. I've actually used this for a live stream and I've used it for several meetings. This right here is 4K30, so we're recording in 4K30. You might see a little bit of a jump because I'm recording the rest of the video in 4K60, which is like my tech review speed. Uh, this thing does 4K30, which will give you a bit of a cinematic look to the uh, video, I suppose. So now what we'll do is we'll record at a higher speed, so maybe 1080p 60. We'll jump into that right now. Okay, and now we're at 1080p 60. I can already see the polling rate has gone back up to match my primary content because I do record at 60 FPS. You know, the people record in that 4K 30, get that cinematic effect, it's gonna be perfect. For live streaming, I did actually do the last one in 4K 30, but I realized that my overall stream is 4k so the little face in the corner there i can put it at 1080p 60 it doesn't have to be 4k on a giant 4k canvas so i think from now on what i'm going to do is 1080p 60 like this throw that up in the corner of the stream because my overall larger image if i'm doing game streaming or whatever a build or something like that that's going to be in 4k 60 and it's going to be 4k for canvas so 
you can see here that the image quality is quite good. I have really bad lighting, just so you know in here. I have a, I do have a ring cam in front, but it's actually turned on to minimum. I have a very weak light on the right over here, very, very weak. My overhead lights are completely off. So I actually find normally webcams struggle a lot in this type of scene here, uh, especially like generic ones. Laptop webcams obviously aren't even close. So you can see here that this is a very good camera for recording. Uh, let's get something with a little bit of text here so we can bring in uh, maybe a little bit of this here. See if I get to not focus on my face. There we go. So it does focus pretty well. It's gonna try to always find your face, right? As soon as I drop that. Yeah, see, it finds my face. It's like where I can see you. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna get really good recordings on this webcam. So what do I think about this little guy here? This thing is very nice. Um, it's actually not getting very hot either. I've been recording for, I don't even know. It has to be, it's been on for almost 15 to 20 minutes because I've been messing about and I've been recording for at least 10 minutes. It's not hot. It is metal, so it'll get the heat up, but it's not hot. You know, like some of those, what are they called, uh, GoPros? Those things get so freaking hot. This thing doesn't seem to have that issue. Um, that's very nice, actually, to be honest. Uh, it's very light, obviously. We'll take this out here. Wait, absolutely nothing. It's just a, it's a tiny little guy. Look at that. Look at that tiny little guy. It's so cute. It has this thing. Uh, what was this one here? There we go. Cute little thing there. Um, I might stick this on top of my uh, screen for like webcam purposes uh, for meetings, generally speaking. Uh, but when I do my you know streams and stuff, I have those uh, screw on things. It has that on the bottom. That's really nice. The camera itself is very crisp. I mean, what would you expect from a company that specializes in extremely high-end cameras? I could very easily stick this, um, you know, like under here or something like that for when I'm doing uh, streams rather than having it on that thing that's going to get knocked over. That's actually a really good spot for it. It's very good, actually. That's probably perfect. I'd probably put it over here, but very good. Um, so my thoughts on this is it's fantastic, to be honest. It's really, really good, to be honest. I like this quite a bit. Uh, this thing is really, like, actually legitimately really, really sick. Um, so I think you should pick this up. I don't have any form of affiliate links. I'll post links that I can find down below. Um, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll post it down, Amazon links down below, which would be affiliated through Amazon. That can help me out. I'll just post their stuff here. This thing is really nice. Um, I'm a big fan of this product, so thank you to, for sending this over. Um, for you guys watching this video, if you have any, you know, concerns about this product. It seems to be very good.